Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 60 of Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles, uh, where today I'm continuing down the path of auto-crafting crafters. That's the main goal, right? Like, we're going to auto-craft a bunch of things, but we have, to get our, we have to get our foundations in place, and that's what I've been working on uh, the last episode or two, right? So, like, last episode we automated um, Evil Craft's blood collection, right? And look, we have a full tank. That's awesome. Uh, and I'm sure we have an even fuller bunch of stuff downstairs, right? Like, if we looked down here, uh, I suspect that we have, you know, a decent amount of, of blood going on down there. Sweet. Okay, cool. So you're doing your thing. So you filled up, which means we'll probably start backstuffing in the Magma Crucible. Um, and look, we've got a lot of undead saplings backstuffed in here. So, and we have some undead saplings backstuffed here. So our backstuffing will continue as follows. This will fill up with undead saplings, which will then cause uh, this to fill up with blood, which will then cause this pipe to fill up with blood, which will then cause this to fill up with blood, and then we will start backstuffing into our drawers. Uh, and we'll start having more and more leaves. So that's kind of cool. We've got that that automation is working out really well because we're going to use that stuff to create um, the iron ingots that we need, right? And and having having a large supply of that blood is probably going to be really useful. Would be my guess. Would be my guess. So today uh, I want to get more crafter crafting going. So if we look at the to do list for crafters, it's not that big at this point. There's only a handful of things we need to teach this guy how to make. Um, and they're all pretty straightforward, I think. Um, so we, we taught him how to compress advanced alloy ingots, right? I think maybe, uh, I don't know. In barring, uh, yeah, we're gonna have, we're gonna have a, another bit of stuffs here, probably soon, right? So if I want like 64 of you, like we're clearly missing a few basic resources, but like, We'll get there, right? We'll get there for sure. But you need to know how to make advanced alloy ingots. Oh, that's right. I remember now. Because advanced alloy ingots is a is a little different thing. So let's get those going. Let's get those taught. Um, there you go. Advanced alloy ingots is a smelting recipe of that. And then non-processing mode, it is steel, bronze, and tin. Does that sound good? I like that. Steel, bronze, and tin. Like, I could do inert, to be fair, now that we've got you know, a large amount of blood going on. We would just have to automate the inert blood iron ingot step, which shouldn't be hard to automate in theory. It should should be automatable. Um, we, we might just need to transport that blood from A to B, but, uh, you know, we could do that. We could come up with that. Ender tanks are expensive, I remember, so it was like, eh, I don't know if I want to do that. But, yeah, let's do that recipe. I think that's the one I'm going to teach to my patterns down here. You can see I've been expanding this a little bit. Um, you know, I, I've been doing a little bit, but not much, but a little bit of off-camera work. Also, spooky sounds are spooky. I think, I think there's a Halloween Easter egg in one of the mods, and I think it's Corel Tomb Spoons. Oh, oh, oh. A little bit of spookiness going on here. We're gonna see some spooky ghosts, I'm warning you. Today's episode will have spooky ghosts, and that's, uh, just how life is gonna go for us today. Um, so, inert... We should probably teach you that inert blood iron ingots, right, is is going to basically just be this. So that's 5,000 and 5,000. Oh, you know what we could do? You know what we could do? Because here's the thing we could do. We could put a storage bus. Uh, external storage? I think I want to teach you how to make external storage. Uh, put you in there. How hard would you be to learn how to make external storage? Hopefully not incredibly difficult. You're just missing some lumium ingots. We should teach it lumium. Um, but what we could do is we could have external storage on the tank outside, and then it can treat blood as a liquid that it has access to. And then it can insert it with the liquid crafting system that we saw an episode or two back. How's that sound for a cool idea? I like that a lot. So we have to do lumium ingots then, right? Um, so a way to do that would be obviously just smelting it up, right, of any kind of furnace. So we can put that into the resourceful furnace. So let's let's get that pattern going, right? Uh, so lumium smelting recipe. So let's put this in processing mode because I think I'm going to make lumium the way. 
um, that we make other stuff, right? So if we do this, so let's do this with the fluid crafting as well, because this should work in theory uh, with the whole fluid crafting system, because we have an importer, a fluid importer on top of our magma crucible, right? And we taught you how to make glue compound and silicon. So let's teach it how to make uh, molten glowstone. And then I think we should be cool. I think. I think. So like lumium. Can we can we can we make molten lumium in some kind of thing? Magma crucible. Yeah, yeah I don't want to do that. That's not really the way I want to do it. What I want to do, I, I'm curious if I can get without a fluid transposer. I might need to throw a tr fluid transposer into the mix to get the bucket so that I can use the bucket um, of molten lumium. Right? Don't I use the bucket of molten lumium to make lumium dust? I thought, uh, let's see, uh, lumium blend, molten glowstone bucket. Right, that's what I meant, molten glowstone bucket, right. So can I get this bucket straight up or do I need a fluid transposer in the interim? That's the question. I might need a fluid transposer to put the molten lumium into, um, but that's fine. We can do that. I'm not super concerned about that. So let's uh, processing mode U, right? So lumium dust, you're going to be that, okay? Um, and then U should be processing mode. We're going to want the molten glowstone bucket, right? And that should be cool. And then for Molten Glowstone, we're gonna do Magma Crucible of this. So he knows that one Glowstone dust equals a quarter bucket of Molten Glowstone. He knows that one bucket plus one bucket's worth of Molten Glowstone will give me a bucket's worth of Molten Glowstone. Um, and then we probably have to do the, 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 the dusts, uh, recipes as well. So let's keep you in processing mode and we're going to do pulverized tin, uh, in a pulverizer and we're going to do pulverized silver in a pulverizer. And that should be cool. So we have a pulverizer here. We may not have a crafting guy on the back of him yet, but remember, we're all about, you know, so pulverizer, you're not going to do that anymore. You're going to do that and that, okay? And then we're going to break you, and we're going to throw a crafter on you. And that's right, I was doing something in which that I was using this. That should be cool. So you guys go in there, right? Um, I know we have a fluid transposer somewhere. It might be in here now. Fluid transposer, yay. Um... You know, we could, uh, I could stick this guy over here, yeah. I think that seems reasonable. That seems like a reasonable spot to stick him. Yeah, I'm down with that. Um, so you're going to want a signal plated item duct. signal plated item duct. And that means you can be picked up now. You're going to output out the bottom, and you're going to input from the back. That should be cool. And you can input from either of those things in the back. So can I get one more crafter with my current set of resources? We're missing our Lumia ingots, and we're also missing steel. Uh, so let's get some iron, because that's another thing we're going to have to do here better. So those charcoal blocks... All right, so you get to work for me, buddy. Boop, boop, boop. You should be smelting? Yeah, good times. And then you're gonna auto-output the steel for me. Uh, to do, huge to do, obviously, is, is more of these. That'll be another thing that I'm auto-crafting pretty soon. But this should help speed things up. Okay, so you're gonna get me steel. So what else do I need to do to get Lumium going on here? Uh, probably what I'm gonna do, let's do this. Do we have any Lumium? Hanging about in our fluid system here. Olive oil, seed oil, super glue, crystalline. I don't think we have any lumium hanging out. I probably... Molten lumium, 732? That might be enough for a few ingots, right? Because we're going to want to know how to make molten lumium at some point anyway. Because some of our stuff uses that. 
right? Some of our recipes use molten lumium. So we're gonna want to know how to make molten lumium anyway. So we'll wind up saying like, you can put a, a lumium ingot into the smelter and it'll, you know, do its thing. That should be cool. Come on, buddy. Give me just four of them so I can make one more crafter. Yay, I have enough for five. Okay. And you have theoretically made enough stuff now, so if I do a crafter, are you cool to do all the things? You claim to be cool to do all the things. Look at all the operations that are happening. Right? And I'm going to steal you guys back because you finished your uh, huge amount of smelting thanks to those speed upgrades. So that's cool. We got half a stack of steel, which to-do list, crafter on steel production. All right? Um, so your process is cooking right along. Scheduled, 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 scheduled. Processing, processing, processing. It's kind of cool to watch, isn't it? I mean, like, especially at this stage in this pack where there's so many intermediate crafting steps, getting this automated right now is just huge for me. Like, making these crafters by hand is painful, but doing it in automation world, I mean, is what's up, right? So then we can come down here. We can say, hey, give me a crafter. You're done. And just to make sure that the thing thinks it's done, we put it in there so that it says, oh, I got a crafter out of that. I'm cool. I'm happy. And I say, you're welcome, crafter machine thing. All right, so you go there with some cables connecting you to the other guys. You're online now. So into there, we'll go the this recipe, right? So that's one glowstone dust equals molten glowstone. That's gonna go in here, right? Lumium blend from lumium ingots, or four lumium ingots, that's going to go in our smelter, which obviously, uh, we don't have enough slots in for, so let's swap you out for this for just a minute, right? And then this is a recipe that goes down here, right? And that might be cool to make lumium now. So if I wanted, you know, 20 lumium, you should be able to manage that? And what we should see happening is you melting, like you should be. Right? And of course this guy has like no upgrades to him, so he's gonna be super slow. Um, but this process should work. What I would love is an upgrade kit. Wouldn't that be cool? All right, we're back. So um, as a reminder, with refined storage, here's a cool mechanic, right? You can chain your crafters into each other and like, Recipes you put in here in the pattern, like, so this is a smelting recipe, will chain through the adjacent crafter into the actual machine. So you don't have to have, you know, too much craziness going on. Um, so I'd like another crafter if I can. So what am I getting short on? So I need sandy glass dust and more processor bindings. Well, that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, sandy glass dust uh, hopefully works in a pulverizer. It does. I'm going to remove you. Uh, and we're gonna make sure that you know how to be crafted, right? So sandy glass dust. That's gonna be a crafting recipe. Cool. We're getting there, guys. Also, the lumium crafting worked beautifully. Thank you very much. Uh, I might have used some for the crafter I just made, but we have 16 lumium ingots. Look at that. I requested 20. It used four for the crafter I just made, but that crafting of lumium worked beautifully. The only thing is that the magma crucible's a little slow, but, um, you know, it's not upgraded at all yet. So if we get some upgrades going, it might be better. Uh, so that I'm excited about, right? Um, let's see what else we got going on here. So if I want another crafter, I need you to know processor bindings. Processor bindings. Uh, what's the best recipe I can do for processor bindings? Probably you, which means that you should probably know the electro silicon thing, which I don't know if you know, so it's time to learn real quick, right? So you're gonna to need to be a processing recipe for electro silicon, right? Um, and then unprocessing recipe, you need the electrotene silicon. And I don't know if you need, if you know electrotene. Did I teach you how to make that? Not yet, so I should, right? So we can throw in here this recipe, because again, it, it, it iterates through to the next crafter in the line. 
Um, I need another crafter here for you to have this processor binding recipe here. So that's cool. Let's swap out something like you for a minute. So I can make another crafter. Can I get two of you? That would be super cool. Nice. We're getting there, guys. We are very quickly approaching the point where we can auto-craft all the things um, related to this. Um, which is neat. So cool. Look at all the things happening. Oh, right, 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 right. You are still waiting on a crafter completion. Because I made the crafter and I didn't put it into the... Here. I didn't hand it in. Right, and that marked the last craft complete. My bad. Hopefully you didn't complain too much about me stealing your pattern, so that would be you and you. Sweet. Okay, stored two. Getting there. Okay, so you're smelting a bunch of things, obviously. I'm gonna borrow you guys. Come on. Borrow you guys. You have a lot of smelting operations to do, right? All that stuff. So letting it catch up. Cool, cool, cool. He might be grumpy because I broke that thing in the middle of the operation. But what we can do is just cancel this and request two. And all the stuff that it's already made, it still has, right? Crafting, crafting, all the stuff going in the electro furnace. You guys should be working. Nice, look at it all. Look at it! Look at it all! We have two crafter recipes that we can do. Beautiful! Two more crafters that we can now make. Um, so one's gonna go there for our manual crafts of that again. And then another one will go somewhere that we need. Sweet! So if I wanted like 10 crafters, like what am I really missing? Like clearly I must be really missing something. So there's a handful of things we're really missing, right? And this is our this is our list of things that we're not actually crafting. We just had enough of the last couple times we crafted, right? And that is uh, iron infused ingots, steel, enriched alloys. Fair enough, right? So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, probably. I need five more crafters. Can I get like four by chance? Missing a little bit of stuff. So I should get more steel. So let's get... Iron, half a stack, charcoal, get you going. Um, and then we'll need just a few other things. So let me get the other crafters going, and then we'll automate all those next tasks. All right, so we should be good to make four crafters now, which is exciting to me. Hooray, look at that, we have all the things. Sweet. All right, now while that's cooking... Uh, what I would like to do... Hey, how did that get in there? Those fish and chips are my fish and chips. Alright, so I'd like to make the transistor, right? Because that's one thing that we're going to need. So you need to know to make that. That requires super glue. Okay, cool. That doesn't look too bad of a recipe. We can teach that. Ooh, spooky times. Where's the spooky ghost? <gasps> spooky ghost! It's a Halloween... Uh, thing. It's a Halloween Easter egg from the Tombstone mod. It's a spooky ghost. For sure. Alright, so like, let's get this transistor going here, right? So you're going to be a processing recipe. Uh, for this guy to this. Beautiful. So he knows now also that there's fluid involved, super glue. And we already know how super glue is made, right? So we have a crafting recipe for super glue, so we're cool. So there's your transistor covered, right? Um, silicon... Right, we're gonna teach the processing recipe for the sawmill. Because that's the best way to make silicon, as far as I know. I'm gonna remove tiny dry rubber. So there's your silicon, right? Um, uh, mechanism. I need that little red circle thingy. This guy. 
metallurgic infuser, right? Um, I think I'm just going to do steel equals that, and we'll do something to keep them in stock. Does that sound fair? I think that's a fair plan. Get more patterns. How you doing, buddy? You're not giving me any of that machines don't accept items nonsense, right? Yeah. I mean, you are, but it's because the machines are legitimately busy, and that's okay. I forgive you. I forgive you, machines, for being busy. I accept that busyness happens, and that's okay. Come on, auto output. There you go. Sweet. Isn't that cool? I love it. I love fast running machines. Like, that just makes me happy in general. Look, Lumium just crafted, so we know we did that correctly. That's awesome. And then let's help you along. All right? So we have a lot of machines don't accept items because, see, this thing keeps getting stuck, the advanced processor. And I don't know why. Every now and then that recipe gets stuck, and I haven't figured out quite what the problem is. Advanced processor should be over here. One raw advanced processor equals advanced processor. And the machine's not stuck, like, at all. So you should be cool, right, buddy? Okay, so you're all scheduling. You're all doing your, your compressoring things. Sweet. Auto crafting for the win. All right, uh, then we need steel. Uh, so I should get you taught. Um, so you are in here. I'm going to teach it the one iron to two charcoal recipe. And we're going to tell it to forget the fact that it gets rich slag. Right? And then uh, finally, I need to teach you blood infused iron ingots, which we're just going to say... Um, I hope that's evil craft blood, so that should be cool, right? And that's going to say five buckets of blood plus one iron ingot equals one inert blood iron ingot, right? So then we'll put all these things together with the crafters that I'm crafting right now, assuming that the crafters aren't stuck on something stupid. And it is. It's like every now and then it gets stuck on saying it doesn't have, it's not accepting the item. Although in legitimate worlds, you're not accepting the item right now because you actually do have Lumium going on in there. There you go. Now you're happy. Sweet. So now you're cool? Now we're, uh, I think it's getting there. Maybe, yes, 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 nice. It all did clear out eventually. It just, you know, just, just, it was just still doing other things, right? It was just still doing other things. If I got speed upgrades in all these machines and wasn't manually moving around, I think we would have less getting stuck and that would be pretty awesome. So let's do something here. So that should be four crafters worth of components. Beautiful. And we throw them all in there, and now you're happy, right? Super beautiful. Okay, so now we can take these five crafters and get to work. So you over here, uh, your sidedness, um, you will accept on the blue side, and then your sidedness will accept on the blue side. Um, and I don't know that we need to filter input, but we might have to at some point, and we'll just figure that out if that's the case. Cool. Okay, so you're going to get the steel recipe. Boom. Okay. Um, we wanted that external storage, right? And you needed some things to happen. You needed lumium, that's right. So we'll let that craft so that we can hook that up to the blood tank outside. Uh, we should probably get more cables. We have some. How do we make these again? In a carpenter with silicone. Um, do you have a cable recipe up here by chance? You're doing all those three. You should probably exist. Um, but let's get this guy placed first, and then we'll deal with cables in a minute. That looks cool, and you're gonna be this recipe. Okay. Um, and note that I've got the logistical transporters above it going into an interface. I think I did that between episodes, or maybe showed you at the beginning of this one. I don't know. Over here, we want our metallurgic infuser that is redstone-y. And you're gonna get this dude. Over here, we want our sawmill. And there's there's other sawmill recipes we're gonna want, so this isn't, you know, a terrible idea. And then our last crafter here is gonna go onto 
this dude, right? Um, should I throw him in the basement, you think? Or somewhere along my long wall of machines? That's a good question. Uh, for now, the eternal for now. Let's throw it here. Does that sound cool? And hopefully, remember we had to do specific things with the, with the thing. You had specific sidedness, didn't you? I think items have to go into the top and fluid might need to go into the side. Oh, that's gonna be a hassle. And advanced logistical transporter out the bottom. Well, let's see what we can see. If fluid has to go into the side, then we will have to figure that out, right? Uh, that's probably gonna be a real hassle for us if fluid has to go into the side and items have to go into the top. Wow, how come you're full? Oh, right, because that, that, that happened. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense on why that's full then, because it's not really full. Okay. So we're gonna have to test this bad boy out. Right? So blood. Missing five buckets of blood, right. Uh, so that's where our external storage comes into play, which is being made as we speak. You're crafting a construction core, I presume, somewhere along the line. There you go, you're done. So then we should be able to sneak over here. And I'm gonna set you to fluids mode, right? Um, man, I missed my mining gadget already. But let's find our way into the base, which shouldn't be too far. I should probably be using a shovel for this, to be fair. I thought it wasn't as far as it is, but it's farther than I thought. Cool. All right, wiring complete in theory. So if this is connected here to this external storage bus, it should work like an external storage bus on something along the lines of like a drawer in which we should see all the blood available in our fluid system now, right? Yes, yeah, 64 buckets of blood, perfect. So now if we wanted to make an inert, right, we have to do this, and I'm guessing the, the blood's gonna go in there, so we should see 15 buckets of blood. Or like nothing will go in there, and that's great. 1x iron and get 5x blood. So he should be going, but I have to figure out why he's not. Unless he went in so fast that he like worked, because that would be great, but I don't think it did. Machine doesn't accept item. It doesn't accept item. Ugh, thinking. So what we can probably do, here's what we can do. Here's what we can do. We're gonna have to move this. You're not gonna live here anymore. Sorry, buddy. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna export bus. You're missing a cable, right? Making cables automatic is a to-do for me. Thanks, buddy. Make an exporter for me. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up so that it exports fluids to keep it full all the time rather than um, using the fluid, right? So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna modify this, and I'm gonna do this to remove the blood so that when we write it, it says iron ingot becomes inert blood iron ingot. So rather than taking the blood at the time of craft, it's just gonna export bus blood and keep the thing full because we have to put the blood in the side and we have to put the iron ingot in the top. Does that make sense? I think so. So now to make that a reality, uh, what we'll probably want to do is get rid of this chemical dissolver for a minute because he's just kind of in my way. And what we'll do is we'll say something like, so you have to extract out the bottom, right? So I could put this right here. Right, and the item goes in the top. So that would be you. With the pattern. 
and then you're going to extract out the bottom. Where's my thing? Where's my thing? Right? And let's just test this real quick. So I'm going to go over here. You're still cooking, so that's fine. I'm going to say, give me an inert. And I might... Look, we used five buckets of blood. And the inert ironing, it's not in there anymore. So that is perfect. So that works. See? Inert iron. Boom. Right? So we wait a few seconds and it should show up. Auto crafting working and our blood ironing. It's woot. All right, now we just need the exporter, which is a work in progress, as you can see. Uh, we're waiting on some lumium plates, which are probably, you know, smelting their way up. So they'll be quick enough. And that'll be the exporter that turns, that puts the blood in the system and everybody wins. All right. Donald 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I believe that this is the last thing that we need to auto craft. If not, we're super close. Uh, so next few episodes might be um, getting more of our house in order and then back to progressing because I want to see more of this mod pack. I'm having a lot of fun. Now that we can auto craft some of these complicated recipes, I think that's going to be really awesome for us. So for now, Donald 20 sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.